When I was younger, my parents actually put me into all my sports. Um, Dad was an Olympic sailor and Mum was into every, every kind of sport. So we were sort of thrown in the pool, put on the netball courts, and it just began from there. When I, when I tried out for rowing, it was oh, just at the end of year 12 and I'd got a bit stale, a bit flat at swimming. And so um, my mum had sent me down to try out at Narrabeen Lakes and it was a talent identification program trial. And I turned up and you could try, I was trialling out for kayaking actually, in my mind, I wanted to get into the surf skis. But then this big tall German man came up to me and sort of said, oh, what do you do? You, you're perfect for rowing. Within 18 months I was in the Australian team and that was when I was 18. And then it just took off from there, it got pretty serious. So rowing, rowing is a very, very intense sport. You're generally on the water at six o'clock, maybe 6.30 a 30k row and then probably get back on the water for another hour, hour and a half of technical rowing. Then either probably two hours of endurance weights. We were doing 80 reps of something, 12 exercises, four times through. Another 25k, 30k row, uh, an hour of run straight after it. 80k bike ride. There was no softness. You had to be pretty dedicated. Coming into Athens Olympics, I, I realised that I was, it was going to be my last, last Olympics and because I, I, I felt like I'd lost my edge, my competitive edge, and I started doubting myself when I was racing and it's, you can't have that. It was through my friends. They were all having babies and feeling really gross, they were feeling fat, and they're like, you could train me. And so that's how actually something, the penny dropped for me. It was like, wow, I can actually get my friends feeling good. And I, I, I I felt like I could have just done it without any kind of studying, but then I was like, no, I'm not that good. <laughs> so when, when I started the course at the Institute, it was, it was actually quite nice to know what I was studying was what I sort of, I'd already experienced and physically done. And I actually learned a lot about what I'd, the training. I was like, oh, that's why we did that. There's a big difference between being the athlete and then being the person who's training the, the client because I'm in control. I get to tell them now what to do. Before, I mean, it was good, but you had no choice. You're always, you're being, you're being pushed by someone, whether you like it or not. But now it's, it's nice to be on the other shoe because when you, you see the clients walk in and they're down and, or they're flat, I kind of know how to work it. Before it was the megaphone out in the boat with my coach yelling, but now when people are down, I get the megaphone.